So we're out on another trip. Once again, Cobb Valley. We're gonna go to Round Lake, camp in the Big Agnes, and hopefully get some great shots of the surrounding terrain. My pack's about 10 kgs today, and it feels pretty light to be honest. I've got my summer gear, but the winter tent, because we're camping on the top, so I wanna make sure that we don't blow away in the night. We've got about 16 kilometers to get up to Round Lake today. Should take us maybe four to five hours. There's a bit of climbing at the end, but up the Cobb Valley is mostly a pretty easy track. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from the source. Pro tip when you're walking, try not to actually carry any water when you're walking next to a good source, like all the streams down the Cobb Valley, to keep the weight down on your pack. You just stop by these nice little brooks and get a drink. This is what I like to call the halfway tree. Halfway. Chafee's hut. Made it to Chafee's hut, about an hour in. Nice walk, stop now, have a coffee, have a snack, and then we'll proceed down the valley to the tent camp. Chafee's now, it's about another five kilometers to the tent camp down the valley. And then from there, maybe another five kilometers up to the lake. How are those nuts? I did eat the nuts. Salty. It hasn't really cleared up. I was hoping for clear skies. The forecast did say that this evening it was going to clear, but I don't know. I'm a bit skeptical. At the head of the Cobb Valley, it spikes up. There's a couple hundred meters of elevation gain. And then you can turn off to Cobb Lake or Fenella Hut. Heaps of people go to Fenella Hut, super popular. The clouds are looking a bit dark. It's making me nervous. It definitely shouldn't rain, but clouds are telling me other things. Got to pitch my tent, get inside my quilt. Arrived at Cobb Lake, sun's come out to meet us. It's looking real good. <clears throat> the water level's pretty low, so we'll be able to cross easy over here, and make our way around the edge of the lake. That's where we're heading. Heading off now from the Cobb Lake up the steep little track following the stream to Round Lake. It's a pretty nice section of track, done it a few times. There's nice light coming through here. Super nice fresh water to drink. It's a pretty sharp climb. My quads have lactic acid that needs to be removed. 
lungs feel pretty good. It's mainly just pump, pumping the muscles. We're almost there, tussocks up there. Be good to get the tent pitched. Oh, I can see Mount Cobb. Heart rate, 167. <laughs> Boosting up the hill. So the round lake is over this way. We're gonna make our way up on top of these rocks. It looks like on the topo there's a little tarn. We might get a good view down the valley from up there. So we're gonna head up there and look for a camp spot. Been looking around for campsites. There's some pretty good ones, but still pretty lumpy. Haven't found the ideal one yet. Not sure if we'll head over that way to the lake or stay somewhere over here. There was a real cool spot over at the lip and it looked right down Lake Cobb, which was pretty awesome, but Victoria was a bit apprehensive to pitch the tent right on the edge of a cliff. I might have to come back to that one by myself when the weather's real nice. And I was thinking it might be better over by the lake because there seem to be some more flat spots over there. We've decided that we're going to head over to Round Lake and pitch the tent somewhere over there. And then once we've done that and had a snack, we're going to try and make our way up to that high point. I think it's 1,560 metres or something. We'll go up there and hopefully be up there for when the sun sets. Pretty flat here, it should be quite nice. Big Agnes. Nice and still. I could almost sleep on here without my mat. It's got like nice grassy, but perfectly gross. Quite strong. It's all pitched up. It's just all built solid, eh? Like those little rivet things are real chunky. Like I'm looking forward to sleeping in here tonight. It's gonna be sweet. Look at that, man! It pitches good. The sea to summit with the light XT. This is the sleep setup for tonight. We got our UGQ quilts, the light XT mats, sea to summit pillows, inside the Agnes. Great setup. Got a new treat for this trip. It's some Trident hot and spicy noodles. Spicy noodles, man. Mm. They're quite succulent. That's Mount Cobb up there. There's a few little bits of snow remaining from the dump last week. Temperature's dropping real fast. We've made the decision. We're gonna boost on up to the tops now and try to see the sunset over the Cobb Valley and all Kaharangi out to the ocean. I think it's 1,560 metres up there, so it's a pretty good viewpoint. Making our way up, you can see the tent way down there. Got <laughs> quite a way up in the end. Oh. It's quite getting quite high up. Could have pitched the tent up here. <laughs> oh, wow. On the ridge. On the ridge line now. It's quite high up here. It's got insane views like all around. I think it was worth it. I'm gonna go along to this high point and get a look down over the other side.
that on and right over to the Nelson Lakes I think that's Mount Franklin way over there it's a pretty awesome view Up on top of this point, about 1,570 meters. The wind's completely died down. It's just incredible views of all the mountains and ridges all the way around. No wind at all. <laughs> it's pretty nice. So, yeah, we're probably gonna head back down to camp soon because it's actually like what 7 30 or something and i'm pretty sore i'm pretty hungry and i'm quite a bit of walking today actually all the way up the cob valley cob lake then way up to this point ended up to be quite a bit of climbing but it makes a good trip of it Back down at the Agnes. That was quite a mission, really. How'd you find that, Victoria? It was good. It was definitely worthwhile going up there. But man, I'm hungry. Ready for dinner. Chicken curry time. Mm -hmm. Got real meals. Basmati rice. And Sri Lankan chicken curry. We've got the double up of the Sri Lankan chicken curries and once again I'll be adding some extra butter and um, coconut oil and chili flakes <laughs> so it should be quite the bonanza it's it nice to be out in this spot it's pretty spectacular uh, alpine camping it's just so quiet it's amazing. we have this whole little basin to ourselves the power on the hills and in the sky right now is quite nice. See the first star here. It's pretty cold though. You warm? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the water in the rice and then I'm going to hold on to it like a hot water bottle. So this is real complicated. I'm not sure if you know everyone could do this, but you've got to pour the water into the packet and you've got to be very careful not to burn yourself. Thank you Nathan Father for the rice that we were about to receive. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm blowing up this really expensive chair to sit on. <laughs> the Kmart pillows are legit pieces of gear. Mm -hmm. The car is ready. Mm -hmm. The rice should be on this one. Okay. stir up. You can see that butter in there. We've retreated to the tent and it's time for us to have a jar of dark. You look outside, there's a billion, million stars. Been out taking some astrophotography. It's pretty cold, everything's starting to ice up, so I'm just taking my boots off and I'm gonna get into bed. I'm gonna have to do a full zip up of the big Agnes I think. Probably enclose ourselves next to the wall. But <clears throat> camera lens is fogging up. It's pretty hard conditions to film when it's this cold and still. Victoria's gonna sleep. And I'm gonna get into the quilt and under the quilt and call it a night. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Good night.
Victoria is up. I'm not up yet. It's pretty cold, man. This is the view out the tent door down the valley. There's a bit of light in the sky, but no crazy colours. It's a pretty good night's sleep. The um the tent was on a pretty flat site, so it wasn't rolling around too much. And the quilts performed pretty well. You get a few extra degrees of warmth of the whole tent fully enclosed. So I was warm enough just, but I could feel the cold. How about you, Victoria? Warm, but I wriggled around a little bit and then the polio got in because I didn't have my pad straps on. Yeah, Victoria moves too much in the quilt. You gotta lie on your back and just tuck it around you when it's like this, I reckon. We get these Makona Heft Merums ready to go so I can cure my neurological disease, which is known as lack of caffeine. Just have enough gas. To reach a boil. Man, I need this coffee. I love these sweet Makonas in the morning. Victoria was right, the tent is icy. Whoa. The sun's hitting my face. It's just breaking through these clouds. What's it like waking up in the wilderness? I like it. It's nice. Are you cozy in there? It's so cozy in here. You do realise you have to walk home. Pardon? You do realise you have to walk home. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be nice too. Right now I'm just enjoying looking up at the mountains. From my quilt. Pack down time, had a second coffee, just been enjoying the morning, the sun. Did some yoga. Victoria did some yoga. <laughs> Hazel didn't want to join me. It's been a really nice morning and overall it's been a great experience so far. But time to pack up, have a cruisy walk down the Cobb Valley today. Yeah, pristine conditions. Cedar Summit mats, easy to deflate. One big puff of air, and it all comes out. 